Hey guys, this is Adam with TAT Express, and today we're gonna go over a park region on a F550 Ford with a 6.7 liter power stroke in it. Today I'm gonna have the computer hooked up so that we can monitor the readings while the region is in progress. Uh, make sure to subscribe to us if you're not. Turn on your notification bell so you know next time we release another video. Let's get right into this. Okay guys, so before we start the region, the truck is warmed up. I wanna show you a couple things here in our first readings. Now what we have here is basically a reading of what we're looking for. This is a partially loaded filter at 50 to 99%. We have a loaded filter at 100 to 120%. Overloaded filter at 121 to 199 and it's clogged at 200% and greater. This filter is at 20, 26% right now so we really don't need a region on this filter but we're gonna do it for the video um, another thing I have shown shown here is how this filter is actually installed into the truck so you can get a better idea of what we're looking for okay so this is the downstream of the exhaust we got one two three four filters I'm sorry four, four temperature sensors monitoring this and this is what we're gonna be seeing on the computer so as soon as this truck is completed, re, completed warming up, we're gonna go ahead and get this region started. So let's move right into it. Okay guys, so all the conditions are met. Uh, I wanna show you here, we have the engine coolant temperature, fuel rail temperature, and fuel level. So once those conditions are met, we're actually able to start the, the actual process of regen. So what I'm gonna do is start the regen process here. I don't know. It, should just start right up. We're meeting all conditions. Okay, so once the region starts, you can see the four temperature sensors that I was talking about. Um, as the region goes, these, uh, sim these sensors are actually gonna raise, rise in temperature. So here we go. Okay guys, so as this region going in progress you can see the temperature readings are starting to rise now EGT 11 is going to be the first sensor and that's why it's going to read a little bit higher first but EGT 12 is going to start catching up to it and as you can see what we're trying to do is hit it up to a nine over 900 degrees so that we can get the filter cooked push out all the loose soot. Once it reaches temperature, the soot gets, the soot that's caught into the filter actually gets loosened up. And with the pressure of the engine, it gets pushed out of the, the end of the, the filter so it can exit. I'm gonna show you again on this reading over here, where these sensors are actually located at. EGT 11. EGT 12, EGT 13. Now from the left over is whenever you're actually having the exhaust enter the system. At the beginning of the regen, EGT 11 will read higher. But what the goal is to get EGT 12 to get high enough where it's gonna cook all the soot that's trapped into the filter and push it out the end of the filter. What that's gonna do is gonna lower the actual soot level. So I'm gonna go back here. So you can see we've already reached 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit at EGT 12. There's also a timer on this. If I zoom out a little bit, our desired time is going to be 2,500, usually around 30, 45 minutes. 
I'm not gonna show this whole region and the whole process. I'm gonna wait to get a little bit higher and I'll show you. As soon as the actually soot starts getting broken and pushed through the filter, the DPF soot reading there is gonna start dropping and the load's gonna start dropping. So let's let this run a little bit longer and I'll get right back to it. Okay, so a high RPM has stopped. Temperatures are still there. And there we go at low idle. So basically what a park region is gonna do, as I mentioned, is raise your temperature on your filters so that you can break away this soot. Now, since this region didn't fully complete, what happened is since this is not over the 50% as I showed you uh, in the earlier clip, um, the computer is just reading that this filter does not need to be cleaned. So this is why it actually ended before the 40 minutes. But what we do is we're making sure that you're hitting your temperatures, okay? So you have the temperature and the soot levels are within specs. So for us, this system is good to go. We've already did a visual inspection. Uh, and during our visual inspection, I'm gonna come back here to these, this uh, display here of the filter. And what we do is we make sure that you're not getting any soot leaks or any uh, exhaust leaks through the, um, through the clamps, uh, making sure all your hoses and, and your sensors are connected correctly. Um, and also while we're doing this regen, as I mentioned, if all the readings are within specs, then this system's good to go. Okay guys, so that's a park regen on a 550 with a 6.7 liter. Most, most after treatment systems are gonna be the same. Some systems you're actually gonna be able to see pressure readings and temperature readings. This one we're only able to see temperature readings. And like I mentioned before, it would have been a full regen if this was over 50% loaded. But since it wasn't, we only got a partial regen. But everything checked out just fine. So make sure you guys subscribe to us. Also, turn on your notifications so that you know next time we release another video, guys. So until next time, we'll see you.